Hey, Pussy Snow, Pussy Snap, new little video. Uh, on this one, uh, basically, it's a shorty of a, a, a three part that I just did. Uh, basically, it's a two part, but the first uh, I had to separate it in second because I wanted to do a good uh, explanation. But basically, this is a shorty of uh, those three parts. Um, basically, what I was wanted to talk about is that as new videos are coming, what I realized is that I didn't really do a good series on assessment and the uh the big warning that i wanted to do is that I, it, my role here when i do videos or anything like this and especially when i'm starting to talk about the stuff i'm going to be talking about today um it's not to make you uh, when the grid is up or things like that not go to an emergency or go see your family doctor or anything like that my goal is to give you uh, so it's not to make you diagnostician so that's not to diagnose you self diagnose you yes I have pneumonia no I don't have pneumonia but it's to give you tools so that when you're hard, placed in a position where you have to take hard decision is uh, to help you with this and so this is my goal about, about uh, those that series um, so the uh, the series that I'm doing right now is an assessment um, and there's basically two parts of an assessment so anytime that you come to an emergency or you go see your family doctor and stuff 95% of the assessment rely on questioning which is the symptoms and signs so meaning like things they see or hear or touch or feels uh, so if the skin feels hot and stuff that's a sign if there's a rash that's a sign um, this usually it's a definition and so 95% of the things, you know, by asking you the right questions, listening. Uh, so, for example, if we take the, the case of a pneumonia, um, you're coughing, you, know, you bring a real sputum or you bring some sputum, it's green, it's yellow, um, uh, you've been having a fever. Uh, all those are uh, signs. Symptoms, if I would ask you how you're feeling, oh, I've been coughing, uh, I'm in short of breath and stuff, those are symptoms because you're answering my questions. And then the third part is that to confirm that you have a, a pneumonia, I would send you either for an x-ray and if you, sp and you spit it in a cup, I would send this and get a culture out of that and stuff. But that's only 5% to confirm um, if you have a pneumonia, what type of pneumonia and what kind of antibiotics would work well with that pneumonia. So this is usually how an assessment is done in a hospital. And so what I'm trying to provide you is that if you're in a bug-in situation or on the, on the move and things and you have to take a decision as, should I bring this person to uh, higher medical facilities when those medical facilities are overwhelmed or anything, so if you're having a case of a pandemic or a disaster or whatever, um, what I'm trying to do is give you tools so that you can take a better decision about that. Uh, but it's not that when the grid is up, you, oh uh, yeah, I don't need to see my family doctor because the Mountain RN told me, blah, blah, blah. That's not the purpose of those videos. Uh, so the first videos that I did was about assessment. And basically, there will be a PowerPoint presentation uh, accessible by Dropbox. And on that one, there's all the information that I have. What I want to do is... Uh, this is why I made uh, sure to not give that much information is that I want people to do their own research uh, because it's really important that if you're going to use those tools you understand why you're using and what you're doing what you do is those tools but what I was talking about is there for about less than a hundred dollar or hundred and fifty dollar ish uh, on Amazon you can get a lot of tools that you can have access basically there's about four things that you can access with, from somebody their blood their uh, sputum so when they spit well more than spit but coming from the lungs their sputum their blood their stool and their urine with all those four or five things you can tell a lot of stuff or you can actually help your your again taking a decision based on things like that and there's quick tests that you can do on that that are easy to put in a, either a, a bug out bag or a bug in bag it doesn't cost much and just with a little bit of knowledge you can take a quick decision on that uh, basically the kind of same stuff that you do in the hospital but again for example if you have hemoptysis which is blood in your in your uh, your uh, in your sputum 
if you go to the hospital, they'll do a whole bunch of other tests. So it's not about, yes, I have hemoptysis, uh, this is what I have or not. It's like I have hemoptysis versus hemoptysis, which is uh, vomiting blood, two different things, two different uh, disease, two di but it'll still come from the mouth. So it's about making decisions from that. That's the purpose of those videos. Uh, the second part of the, which is the third part, um, of the video was about a quick assessment and um, was giving tips on when I do an assessment when I see people when I start my shift and basically when I take and again uh, when we take a pulse it's from what we call the radial pulse so it's basically on the bone uh, radio because you have the radial and ulna and the radial uh, bone is on the side of the thumbs uh, but just because I'm by myself what I usually do to show you correctly is I take it from this side but what I do is I put four fingers on somebody like this and it's called a emergency handshake because every time you see someone you do this and um, basically it can give you a lot of information it can give you the pulse their color of their skin uh, their temperature of their skin uh, if their skin is dry or wet and stuff and then after that I was talking that basically there's five um, system that I assess constantly like on everybody body that I see uh, the first one is neural so the head how they talk how they speak and things like that the second one is the chest which is divided in two uh, first is their breathing so how how easy they breathe and things and the second one is what we call the cardiovascular system meaning like cardio meaning the heart so did they have chest pain and they have palpitations and stuff and vascular meanings like their circulation so again by taking their pulse I know if their pulse is okay if they're sweaty or something or if their pressure is dropping and stuff I can tell it quickly uh, with this quick exam so which is the vascular size of it the third system is the abdomen uh, abdomen including um, about the belly button around the belly button all the way up to uh, mid legs because we include in that uh, if they're peeing okay if they're pooping okay in the female side if they're having vaginal bleed or vag vaginal discharge quick questions that you can ask about this but it's an assessment that you need to do about that and then the third one, the fourth one, sorry, is skin. And skin is a little bit uh, wider than just looking at the skin, but you're looking for uh, rash and things, uh, if they got contaminated, so if they got in contact with chemicals or things like that, uh, I want to know that. If they have fevers and things, I include that in temperature. If they're outside in the very hot uh, temperature or very cold temperature, so environmental, again, for skin. Um, and then the, uh, the f uh, fifth one is trauma. So trauma is have its own category because you have to do things a little bit uh, differently. So if you have someone that fell from a height or were involved in a uh, high impact, so they were on a quad or something and they went over the handlebars, all this enters in the trauma. If they uh, were in a disaster, if they were high wind and they got impeded, uh, impaled, sorry, by an object, all this enter into the trauma category because there's quite changed in the chest pains for the chest because trauma chest is quite different than a regular assessment of a chest meaning like if you have chest pain because you are in a trauma versus a chest pain because you could have a heart attack or two different things uh, so that's why trauma is a, a separate category so this is the shorty about uh, those three I um, uh, hope you'll watch all of them because I give way more information than this. There will be a presentation and a few links down there that I put with all those three uh, links. And I'll talk to you soon.